I just wanted to bring you back into my kitchen today. I have a pumpkin here sitting in front of me that I have baked in my oven. Um, and you can see the holes in the side here. All you do is stick the whole pumpkin in a roasting pan, um, such as this. You don't need to add any water. Put it at 350, set your oven at 350 degrees, poke several holes in it, five, I would say between six and ten holes in your pumpkin. Be very careful because the um, shell is hard when you're doing this so that you don't stab yourself. Um, and just put it in the oven for an hour and a half at 350. And as you can see here, I'm actually peeling the skin off of the pumpkin which makes it so simple, easy. And then all I'm going to do is cut it up and I'm going to um, put it in jars and I'm going to can it. Um, I may make some pumpkin butter also, but I wanted to show you this. It's so simple and so easy. Um, you can also um, put this pumpkin in a food processor and make it really nice and smooth for your puree. I'm just going to chunk it and put it in jars so that, because once it um, cooks again in my pressure cooker, it's going to be really nice and soft and I can work with it when I'm ready to use it and pull it off my shelf. But I just wanted to show you this. I just didn't want my pumpkins to go to waste, so I'm quickly canning them and getting them on my shelf. So stay tuned. I'll show you further um, materials on this um, as I progress. Thanks. Okay, guys. I have diced up all of the pumpkin and cleaned it all off, and I have to say that was really easy. Um, makes it really simple to do it that way. Um, again, 350 degrees in your oven for an hour and a half, roughly. Uh, just keep an eye on it. Um, once you can stick a fork through the pumpkin rind or the um, outside, um, it's soft enough. You can get it out of your oven and and let it cool, and then uh, start working on it. I also did. Um, some uh, roasted pumpkin seeds, put a little bit of garlic, seasoned salt, a little bit of olive oil on those, and I can actually show you those. Real simple, real easy to do, um, a nice little tasty treat. So um, that's something else you can do with the pumpkin seeds. And um, all I have to do here is add water, giving myself an inch gap from the top of here. and. Um, I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in each of these and then I can easily um, pull these off the shelf this winter and make pumpkin butter, make pumpkin pie, make cookies, whatever. Um, but with canning, um, anything that's not an acidy fruit or vegetable um, needs, is best to be pressure cooked versus in the water bath canner. So these will go in the pressure cooker also <clears throat> and again you just wipe your tops of your jars off, make sure they're dry. Um, on these, I am going to be using the Tatler ring and lid to go on there. And then you just put your rings on the top and tighten them down, and you're good to go. And um, if your canner is not entirely full, you can still, because I only have, I think I have nine jars all together. So I'm going to do two canners full because my canners only hold seven jars at a time. So I'm going to do two canners, um, set at 12 uh, on the dial uh, for 90 minutes on these, and then all of my canning is done for this season. So, um, but you just want to, you know, use the precautions and read your manual on your pressure cooker. And um, again, in this uh, video, I will be sure, well, I'm sorry, on my blog post to go along with this video, I'll be sure to put links for the Tatler seals, my pressure cooker, some of the books that I highly recommend, and uh, websites I highly recommend for canning, and um, just share the information with you there. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to get these in the pressure cooker and get these um, completed, and then I am good to go. So you guys take care. Thanks so much for joining me. If you have any questions, feel free at any time to email me at mountainwomanjournals at gmail.com and visit my website at mountainwomanjournals.com. You can also check out our family site, which is treyerwilderness.com. Um, my husband manufactured uh, multi-purpose fire pistons called the Multi-Flame Tools. Those are also available there. And um, we will be adding more information on that site on a regular basis. So that's another site that you can frequent. But uh, again, appreciate you watching me. You guys take care, and God bless.